so I got asked this question recently and it was in relation to communicating with spirit and past over loved ones and also you know I was asked by a client how do I communicate with with my angels with my angel guides and there seems to be some confusion with some people around you know what what do I call the angels what type of angels do I call and really getting caught up in that hierarchical the hierarchy mentality and it's my belief that angels are just thought forms from God angels are bridges between the physical and the non-physical world they are messengers of God so don't get too caught up in what should I call them can I you know who should I call you know it's like Ghostbusters who are you going to call um, in my experience angelic frequencies are just delighted when we engage with them and when we reach out to them and when we talk to them because that's what they were created for. They're created to, to engage with us, to interact, to communicate. Um, and of course, they will always obey the laws of the universe. And one of the most fundamental laws that is, is a gift that's given to you from source, from the creator of all that is, whatever you want to call that, and that is free will. So you have your free will and your angelic guides your angels or your spirit guides whatever you wish to address them as they will not interfere with your free will unless you give permission for them to intervene into your life to step into your your aura to step in and help you in your life so it's very important if you're really wanting that communication and you're wanting that um, assistance that divine assistance that you reach out and you ask spirit for help and that you give them full permission. So when uh, somebody's coming to me for a healing session, for instance, I will always tell them before you come for your session, take a few breaths. If you meditate, meditate and say to your angels, say to your spirit family, I give you full permission to step into my heart, to step into my life, to intervene and help me in any way that you see fit and that is handing over your trust your faith that the divine that spirit has a plan for you that that you trust that your angels are there to assist you to guide you to help you to direct you and uh, a prayer that I like to say is I say light up my path you know angels please light the path light the next step for me so that I know which direction to go and then I find that the days that follow there'll be a lot of synchronicities there'll be beautiful happenings and um, I'll, I'll get signs and symbols and communication from my angel guides that does light up the path for me but again I have to ask you know I have to reach out I have to be willing to receive you have to be in the yin in the divine feminine you have to be willing to receive that energy so Another question that I want to address is, we just had Halloween there, so um, happy Halloween, Sal and Blessing. We, I had a question from a lovely lady who was asking about, she really wants to communicate with her, her parents who are in the non-physical, who passed on, who are transitioned. And she was saying, you know, Halloween is the time where the veil between this world and the non-physical is at its thinnest, so how can I encourage that? And I was just reminding her, um, and I thought it'd be good to, I think a lot of people have that question. And the reality is, those in the non-physical, they are not in a low vibration. They drop their ego when they transition back to source, and they are in a very pristine, pure, high vibration. So in order to feel their presence and communicate with them, it helps if you're in a state of allowing, if you're in a state of receiving. If you're in joyful, non-attached, 
open energetic state that really really lets them in that's when you'll feel them so if you're at a wedding and you're having a really good time and you're just feeling the good vibrations of life you're dancing you're drinking you're with good people with your family with your loved ones that's why you'll often feel them at those kind of celebrations but there are times as well when you're really really down in the dumps and maybe you just you just give up and you just fall to your knees and just give up and you'll often feel them at that time as well but the reality is both times in the, the celebrations and in the giving up and just you know maybe you feel depressed or something you can feel them too but that's because you're still in the state of allowing because when you've given up you've let go you're not attached you're not trying to force things to happen anymore so the ultimate key if you want to um, really feel and connect and communicate with um, your loved ones who are have transitioned is to never force it the more you push for it the less chance you're going to have for it because it's it's just the laws of energy it just doesn't work with those laws um to be relaxed relaxation is a wonderful key for being able to tap into spirit if you're not a natural psychic high sensitive like myself um where those things will come more easily it really helps to get into the habit of deep relaxation practice deep breath work and of course I'm all about the meditation because it really does bring you into a much clearer, cleaner alignment space with your energy. It opens up the chakras. So the more relaxed, happy, joyful you can be. But again, if you're feeling really down, you really feel that you want that connection. You really want to connect with your loved ones. Um, you can still have that communication. You can still feel it. You, you might get a sign. You might have a, you might smell. Um, some people report, you know, feeling smells like uh, there was one client and she said she always knew her father was around because she would get a smell of tobacco and he had a very strong smell of tobacco so it's just his way of letting her know I'm with you I'm around I'm comforting you but again it's often the the the, the link there in those situations is you're in a state of allowing you're relaxed you're just you've let go you're not forcing life you're not pushing against the tide you're also not really really busy you're not in the the rat race busy state that so many of us in the western world live in which will not really be open um to receiving uh the non-physical energy so it's about creating that um relaxed very yin feminine state of being that allows those those energies to be felt to be um, to be experienced so i hope that answers your questions if you enjoy this information and you'd like more information regarding anything energetic spiritual angels um, healing work shamanic work please leave a comment below like this video leave a comment ask me a question and i'll happily get to it as soon as i can thank you and namaste